Hey everyone, my name is Nicholas and this is Dead by Dice. And in this video, I am going to show you what is a deck builder and how does deck builders in general works. And to do that, I have brought my almost my favorite of all time favorite um, deck building game, Star Realms. And this is the Star Realms Frontiers, with, which uh, came after Star Realms. Uh, this uh, includes rules for cooperative play and solo play and a lot of different play styles. But uh, in this video, I'm just only going to show you the components and the basics of playing a deck building game. So if you have no knowledge or z you have zero knowledge or probably maybe don't know what a deck builder is, this video is for you. Let's begin. When you open this kind, uh, this game, you, uh, you have just a lot of cards. Cards is the only thing that this, this game contains. So there is a thick um, pile of cards that is called the market deck. We will check them out. And then there are some cards. In fact, there are 10 cards for each player that uh, participate. Uh, and they, these cards, they, um, they are the same for all the players. In this case, in Star Realms, you have cards that is called Scout, looks like this. And they're worth one coin or one trade, as it's called in this game. Then you have you have eight of those, and then you have vipers, and these are attack cards. With this, you attack your opponent. And the goal of this game is to bring your opponent from a certain number of points, maybe fifty points, bring them down to zero. The player that brings his opponent down to zero first wins the game. Easy. So, um, you start out, both of you, both uh, of, of the players, with a deck like this. And you, you um, shuffle it, and then you draw five cards. You look at these five cards, and in my case, I drew five coins. Then the other component in this game is the marketplace. And this is, uh, this is uh, from the cards that you, uh, you put out between you two players from this big pile. So you take five cards and put here in the marketplace. And on your turn, oh, I should mention also that you have this uh, this small pile with Explorer cards, and uh, these are also they they also belong to the market, but uh, you can always buy these. They cost two coins, so if you find nothing else to buy, you can at least buy these. We'll put them here. Um, so on my turn, I check the cards in the market. And uh, if there is something I can afford, I buy that. So for example, with these five coins I have here in front of me, I can buy uh, this card, uh, which costs two, for example. And then I can buy this, uh, this card that costs three. That's five. So then I spend all my resources. They go to the discard pile here, including with these two cards that I played or uh, I bought. Then I put out new cards here. And uh, in fact, you do this step as soon as you have bought one card, because there can appear a card that you might can afford probably. Uh, so, so you don't wait with this. But let's uh, take a look at these cards. What do you do with these uh, bought cards? 
Let's check them out because they are configured in some special ways. As you can see here, first, uh, there are different fractions or factions. Uh, there are these green faction, the yellow one, the blue one, the red one, and, uh, and th th there are in total four factions. These four factions, they in many ways synergize with each other. So you often want to buy cards from a certain faction or maybe two factions. You might not want to spread it out all over all the factions, but there might be a strategy you find that makes that a good thing. So let's check out, for example, this card, the Blob Miner, the green faction. Uh, when you buy this card, you, uh, you put it in your discard pile. And when your draw pile is empty, you uh, shuffle your discard pile. And these cards will eventually, uh, eventually show up. So in this card, for example, when you buy this, you next time you draw this card up into your hand, you get three coins. And you may scrap a card in the trade row, as it says here. Uh, and the scrap a card in the trade row means that you can scrap cards from this row to prevent your opponent to buy them. Uh, because probably you have seen that your opponent is, uh, is uh, collecting those uh, blue faction cards or maybe the yellow ones so you can so you can um, you can scrap them and then they go out of the game there is a trash can down here and 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 the two attack as you remember from the attack cards and uh, let me see if i can yeah well as you can see here there is an attack um that means that if you want when you have used your three coins, you can also trash this card uh, and not throw it in your discard pile, but trash it out of the game, not coming back for two attack. So it gives you an extra perk if you, if you just trash that card. Then there is this card, the blue one. Patrol boat, it says, it costs three coins. And it gives you four attack and this green um, little symbol here means that you can regain health. As I said from the beginning, you have 50, 50 points of health and you are taking down uh, your opponent, taking you down. But when you use this card or you draw it up into your hand and play it out, you gain three health also. And then you see there is a field here under the four and the three that says two health or two uh, authority, as it's called in the game. This means that if you play during your turn, you play another card with this symbol, you also gain this feature. So that's very good. That's why it's very good to collect uh the the certain factions and get more cards of those then we have this card and it works almost the, in the same way as you can see it costs three it gives you four attack and it says also target opponent discards a card so you force your opponent to to discard a card from his hand into his or hers discard pile. And just like the previous card, you get this yellow symbol here. If you play another card with this symbol, you also get this perk to extra attack. And in this card's case, if you play two cards with this symbol, you you both uh, uh, gain two attack and you can also draw a card, which is very good. It's a powerful card. Then we have these, the, the horizontal cards. 
These are not, uh, these, these are horizontal. And what they do, these are bases. These are defense, defense bases. So when you buy this and you get it up into your hand and play it out on your turn, it stays. It stays uh, underneath your cards here until uh, your opponent kills it. And they must do five damage to do that. This card, every time it's your turn and it still is out here in your play area, it will give you two attack. And if you play another red card, red faction card, you will get another two attack. So these bases, they stay. And then we have the last card that looks like this. This is also a base, but it's not an outpost as this. You see the, uh, the, the shield here, it's silver. And on this card, it was black. There are difference I will uh, explain to this uh, really soon. But when you play this, it also stays in your play area. You get three attack and four coins and five uh, health. So it's a very, very powerful card. And this also stays until your opponent kills this uh, card or uh, takes it down. The difference between these two are that the outpost with a black shield, uh, if you have played one of these in your play area, your opponent must take down that card before make, taking, making any damage to you or any other card you have. In uh, the case of the silver shield, you can have it played in your area, but the opponent chooses if he or she wants to deal the damage to you and your authority points, your, your health count, or they want to take, bring down this card. They must do six damage to take it down because otherwise, every time it's your turn, you will gain what says here on the card. So as an opponent, you want to bring that card down really quick. Well, that was those cards. Um, as I said, those five cards you have in your hand, uh, you then you have your your. Um, let's say we uh, we with these cards, we buy these two cards. Two and three makes five, and there are new cards up here. Then you throw these on the discard pile, as I said, including these, and then. When you have done that, you draw five new cards. And since you had 10 cards, it's the other five cards that you draw. In this case, you already know that you will have three uh, coins and you will have two attack. And let's see, let's say that we just buy, we just skip over the other turn of, of the opponent here because we have no opponent. So, um, and I want to, um, use everything I have in my hand on my turn. Because if you have unused coins or unused damage, you cannot use it. You just have to scrap it and put it in your discard pile. And this could be, for example, if uh, the opponent has a uh, outpost of five and you only have two damage, you can't do anything. You cannot hurt either the base or the opponent's uh, health. So then you have to scrap these. Um, but with these three, you buy, for example, this, and uh, you deal two damage to your opponent. Put a new card here, and you throw these cards in your discard pile. Now your discard pile contains all the cards you bought. So you... Um, you um, uh, shuffle this um, deck and you deal five new cards for you. Let's see what this was. 
Oh well, it was not a very good hand because everything else is in here that I bought. There are also cards in this market deck that makes you trash cards from your hand. And why do you want to do that in a deck builder? Well, yes, you want to do that because these cards are the weakest cards that you can ever have. These are the weakest cards that you have in your hand from the beginning. And you want to get rid of these because when you you get rid of these, you have a, a, a greater frequency that you will pick up the good cards that you have bought. So you will want to get rid of these cards as soon as possible. Well, sometimes it can be difficult and uh, sometimes it can be uh, quite uh, quite easy if you have, for example, these cards that we that we have here, the destroyer bot. You may scrap a card in your discard pile. So if you have a discard pile, you can check it out, and you can find a card, for example, this one, and then you just throw it out of the game. You have one weak card less in your deck. So that's the basics of a deck builder. And uh, this is one of the absolute easiest to understand, I think. And it has a great theme. I like this 90s star sci-fi destroyer theme. It's uh, quite good. There is a, a variant of this. It's like a sibling game. It's called Hero Realms. It's from the... Uh, Wise Wizard Games that has made this as well. It's a fantasy theme. It works a little bit different. This is the absolutely most easy, easiest to understand. But uh, if you if you hate sci-fi, go for Hero Realms. But if you if you're comfortable with it, uh, try this game out. It will really will really uh, be a nice uh, experience. I think. Well. That was a little about uh, um, deck building games. Probably I have forgot a thousand things that I uh, should say about it. Um, if you, if there is anything you like to ask, write a comment in the uh, description. And uh, well, I hope you start out with deck building games soon. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Bye.